Hello, Friendship West, my fabulous family of faith. I'm LeBaron Coleman, the leader of the healthcare community here at Friendship West, and welcome to COVID news that you can use. Today, I'll be joined by some of our awesome healthcare members, Dr. Shanita Baylor, Ms. Sharon Anderson, and Ms. Christine Locke. They are some of our awesome frontline workers and a COVID survivor. Today, we'll be addressing vaccines, long hauler syndrome, and you will hear a personal testimony on how COVID can affect you and your family as the Delta variant continues to rise in states across the country and we see COVID numbers rise again, we want to keep you aware of the options to beat this virus. As of today, to, at 2 p.m. July 21st, Dallas County Health and Human Services is reporting 659 additional new cases of COVID-19 in Dallas County, 546 confirmed cases and 113 probable cases. The national confirmed cases of COVID now sit at about 34 million and 24,923 people are hospitalized with COVID-19, according to the data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. That's a 26% increase from last week and a 5% increase from two weeks before. And more than 97% of people getting hospitalized with COVID-19 are now unvaccinated. Now I introduce Dr. Baylor. Hi, Friendship West. I am Dr. Shanika Baylor, and I'm here to provide you with some COVID-19 vaccine information. There are currently three COVID-19 vaccines available. They are the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Pfizer requires two separate injections given 21 days apart. Moderna requires two separate injections given 28 days apart. And Johnson & Johnson only requires one injection. Both Pfizer and Moderna are highly effective at preventing COVID-19 infection at 95 and 94.1% respectively. Johnson & Johnson is 64% effective at preventing COVID-19 infections. Studies have also shown that both Pfizer and Moderna are effective against the different COVID-19 variants. Since the vaccines have become available, more than 330 million doses have been given across the U.S. 161 million Americans have been fully vaccinated, or 48% of the population. 12.4 million Texans have been fully vaccinated, that's 42.9% of the Texas population, and 1.1 million Dallas County residents have been fully vaccinated, which is approximately 40.1% of the Dallas County population. Full vaccination means that you have received either two Pfizer or two Moderna injections or one Johnson & Johnson injection, and that it has been at least two weeks since the last needed injection was received. Unfortunately, there have been 606,000 plus COVID-related deaths in the U.S., 51,000 COVID-related deaths in Texas, and almost 4,200 COVID-related deaths in Dallas County. Recently, there has been much talk about breakthrough COVID-19 cases in those who are fully vaccinated. These breakthrough cases are expected as no vaccine is 100% effective. Most people will either have no symptoms or less severe illness. Of those who have been vaccinated in the United States, approximately 12,000 COVID-related deaths have occurred, which is about 0.0036%. In Dallas County, there have been 1,300 reports of breakthrough COVID-19 infections in those who are fully vaccinated, with 105 people, or 8% being hospitalized, and 14 people, or 1% dying. If you have any vaccine-related questions, speak to your healthcare practitioner or your pharmacist. They can answer any questions that you may have. Finally, if you are wanting to schedule your vaccine appointment, contact your local pharmacy or the county for scheduling information. There is no charge to receive your COVID-19 vaccine. Hi, my name is Sharon Anderson, and I'm a registered nurse working at Baylor University Medical Center. I'm here to talk about long haulers. You or someone you know may have had COVID-19 and is suffering from a syndrome called long haulers. This condition occurs after you have contracted COVID-19 and you're, test, you're testing negatively, but you experience lingering symptoms and mimic the virus that you have just been affected by. Symptoms may be mild and they persist, and these symptoms are shortness of breath, difficulty sleeping, mental fogginess, 
intermittent fever, muscle aches, joint pain, fatigue, and changes in menstrual cycle. The severe cases are present even if you do not have underlying health conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, and or heart failure. The mild or severe symptoms can continue and lead to organ failure. The most severe cases are chest pain, rapid heartbeat, depression, cognitive problems, and an inflammatory process that is response to an autoimmune system that affects our normal cells. Life-saving measures are attempted such as dialysis for renal failure, transplants for organ failure. Organ failure uh, may include heart, lungs, kidney, or liver. At this point, you may be in ICU, intubated, um, have a machine called an ECMO, which is a last-ditch life-saving measure to cause perfusion for your body. Also ventilated, uh, having a trach, your systems are failing. And so we're doing everything we can to do life-saving measures to keep you alive. When you have maybe gotten past your long haulers, gotten out of ICU, you will still need long-term care and or rehabilitation such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, whatever damage you had to your body, this is how we perceive in caring for you at that time. So you see the effects of long haulers can affect many areas of your body. It's hard to measure to know how many persons are dealing with long haulers at this time. The, the data shows that there may be one in 10 who have long-term effects from long haulers. So we ask that we all be our brother's keeper. Be safe, watch out for your neighbors, wearing a mask, and do everything we can do to prevent the spread of COVID. I'm Christine Locke. I'm a long hauler survivor of COVID. In December of 2020, I became a, a I received COVID-19. After three weeks in the hospital in ICU, I was sent home. Two weeks later, I was rushed back to the hospital with pneumonia. After two weeks in the ICU, I was sent home again. And two weeks later, I was sent back to the hospital with pneumonia again. Long haulers have a hard time. After pneumonia twice, I see you for about a month. I begin to have kidney failure from the COVID. Kidney failure became very serious. I was back in ICU on dialysis for approximately four days, then taken off. Then I was sent home and three weeks later, I had a heart attack. Now I'm still trying to recuperate. I'm still taking physical therapy, learning how to walk. I'm still having digestive problems. I still have a whole lot of problems. COVID have just upset my entire life. I went from being healthy, able to do a lot of things, to almost not being able to do anything. I had to live with my daughter for about a month, and I still have to have a daughter to live with me. And all this has been going on since December 2020. So anyone that feels that you don't need the shot, you don't want the shot, or it doesn't matter if you get the shot. COVID is very real, very disabling, and a big problem, and not just to you. It is a problem to you and your entire family. Even though 
they're not feeling the symptoms, they're feeling the pain. So please, go and get the shot and try to make everybody's life a lot easier. Thank you.